Well, the wildfires in BC are taking a toll on Canadian forestry companies. Joining me with more is BNN Bloomberg's Anita Sharma. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. My pleasure, Kelsey. Yeah, so it's not just air quality. It has a whole impact on the industry as well. You know what? It's a trying time. My heart goes out to everyone that's impacted by these fires right now. I know you're from out west, but mm -hmm. we're talking specifically about British Columbia. The air quality, Kelsey, the worst that we're seeing on the planet. This is having a huge impact on the business front as well. I don't want to seem callous about the situation, but softwood lumber, it's a key driver of the Canadian economy. And if these mills can't operate because of evacuation orders, which are put in place for a very good reason, if mills are shutting down, guess what? We're not getting that labor to uh, the lumber rather to market or the labor really because yeah. we don't have folks on the ground in the mills. So we're seeing a significant impact right now, Kelsey. Lumber prices just last week alone up about 10%. If you look at the individual companies, Canfor, your West Frasers, they're up about uh, 9 to 11%, uh, a bit of a tight range there. So definitely troubling times. We're already dealing with softwood lumber exports. The duties upwards of 27% that the administration south of the border has levied on softwood lumber. So we're dealing with that, and now it looks like prices are going even higher because there's just we don't have the supply, Kelsey. Yeah, so huge impact on the economy For sure. there. Uh, in terms of markets today, how are things opening? Okay, so great question. Lumber aside, we're actually expecting a positive uh, open to the markets. European bourses trading higher, so that's great news. We saw some optimism on Friday as well as today. U.S. and China, Kelsey, it looks like sources are telling us they are looking at mapping out agreement with respect to their trade spat. It's been a huge overhang on the market. They can resolve that. We're hearing November. Uh, definitely would be uh, a great boon for the markets. Okay, so some good and some bad. Absolutely, today, you bet. Yeah, thank you so much. You can My follow pleasure. more of this story on how it develops on BNN Bloomberg.